And now to Adamo, a state where a community has accused the state government of negligence and called for more youth inclusiveness. The leader of the delegation announced this in Yola during a press briefing where he drew the attention of the state government to caution some PDP stakeholders that always work against the interests of the party. He, however, said that major steps need to be taken as a matter of urgency before it will be too late. To set up a committee that will go around and collect some of the underlying problems caused by some few individuals in Lamudi. We we'll require for more government presence in Lamudi, as in the area of infrastructural development and provision of basic amenities. We are requesting for youth inclusivity in governance, as the old order have observed almost all appointments failing and discarded from the youth. According to the leader of the group, they need serious orientation in the community that will be of paramount importance to the people at the grassroots. He, however, called for party officials to seat up and for the betterment of the party come 2023 election. I don't thought that the people for whom the governor is trusted with positions of power from our area have totally disconnected with us. With the youth of Lamute have been relegated to the background and as such, the people we look up to in government have decided not to carry us along. It came to a point where we lost touch with the government and it is due to the negligence of the top functionaries from Lamute. In fact, even the monthly stakeholders meeting directed by the government who always well in each local government area has not been shifted to Yola. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.